guys, this is Ross. We're here in Joyzy. Joyzy. We're here in Joyzy, and uh, my friend Dom, who's been really a long, he watched my videos before I even became friends with him. Uh, that's how we met. He contacted me through my videos, and we became friends, and uh, I talked to Dom all the time. I met with him numerous times, and we're here at his apartment here in Joyzy. And on his little uh, patio here in his apartment, on his deck, we've got plants that he's growing because just loves growing things. What else am I going to do with my time? <laughs> so, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what Dom's doing here and why he's doing it because, hey, you live in an apartment, you can do this too. So, Dom, yeah, take it away. You don't need a huge place like Ross, it's crazy, it's you can do more. <laughs> so, we have no sun, of course, so this is a problem, but you can still do a lot of basil. I have Loads of basil growing here. Um, basil brought back from seeds from Naples. Um, some root basil over here. Where are we at? Right here. All looking good. I'm um, getting enough for uh, my wife, my kid, and I. Um, we have a lot of different varieties of peppers here. Um, let's see, we have seven pot bubble gum, which isn't doing too great just because it's, um, I guess, from a more tropical area. It needs a little more sun. Um, but things that do well here. Um, let's try to destroy it. Jim and Ardello does pretty well. Um, there are more flowers on here, but it's bringing out very windy and knocked everything off. Um, super sweet variety, really nice Italian frying pepper. Uh, if you like spicier peppers, Aji pineapple is doing really well. Um, it only gets about four hours of sun, but it's still enough. Right, Dom, so everything here gets only like four hours. That's about it. It's really probably from like 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And this pepper here, you overwintered this one. Yep, this one I started last February, February 2017. Um, pretty much grew in the same kind of condition. My old apartment didn't have any, really any light. Raised it from seed, kept it over winter in a window, just watered it. Um, kind of had to fight the aphids once or twice. Yeah. Um, killed those guys. Um, yeah, but they really took off. If you see right in here, right in this area, there was no growth. So I pretty much cut everything back to here, and then from these two nodes, that's when it put out all of this growth. Right. And it probably started maybe around April, and now we're getting really nice. Yeah, these are nice bells. This is a Quadrato Asti Giallo. It's a uh, Italian bell pepper. This will get a nice kind of fade across into a yellow. Oh, nice. Um, this, again, this had a lot more flowers, but they have really nice clusters but um it got very windy up here uh, a few days ago we had a storm so it probably yeah. knocked off a lot of flowers yeah but um really nice it, it looks to be a really nice producer for four hours you yeah. know get to try some good stuff and you're gonna do this with all of your peppers oh uh, yeah for the, the most part uh, yeah the varieties that um i like i'm gonna keep over winter um joe's red cayenne is really nice because you get a really nice um that's only like a one gallon pot and i'll probably end up being able to pull off like 12 peppers from there the next like two months. It's a really nice producer. Um, you can get that on. Um, who do we like for seeds? Baker Creek. Baker Creek. Baker Creek. You can get that from there. Uh, seed Saver Exchange is really good. Yeah. And if you get the Seed Saver Exchange membership, you get into like Brooklyn Botanical Gardens for free. You get all these benefits. It's like you donate ten bucks, you get all this cool stuff. So it's worth doing. No way. I should check it out. Yeah. So well, you um, also got figs over here. Oh, and these poor guys. Most of your figs you have at your uh, your dad's place. Yeah, they kind of kind of brought them all over here just so I can yeah see what they're. <laughs> if these were gonna graft, right? These are all rootstock. Yeah, pretty much. All of, everything over here is gonna be used as rootstock. Right, um, so we're gonna do that as soon as we're done talking to you guys. But you got all kinds of uh, rootstock, and you you did some grafting yourself. Yeah, yeah. I used the omega tool and got a really nice. So what's um, the omega tool graft? for those people that don't know? It's pretty much um. You can kind of see. You say? See it's almost like how you have your pruners, yeah. And instead of it doing a flat cut, it makes this. I guess it's supposed to be like the alpha omega sign or whatever, but it pretty much it's like a puzzle piece. So you put it right together, you wrap it with your parafilm, some a rubber band, yeah. and um, yeah, the thing took off. I mean, I think I did this maybe two months ago, and I got all this growth on here. Yeah, this is nice. Really good for uh, a first year apple. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks good to me, and and again, only four hours of sun. So I mean, I imagine if, you know more sun, it would have gotten nicer production on it. Right. So I'm pretty happy with that. First graft, take off. Yeah, 
there's more apple rootstock back here and rootstock back there. More figs and we got tomatoes too that are producing really well. Yeah, this is a um, variety from Naples. I brought the seeds back. That's the um, Sibinia Domini. Yeah. That's the uh, what's it called? Pianola del Vesuvio. It's um, pretty much when you're there, they um, they're the ones that you see growing in a big um, like a bundle. You see them hanging all over the place. That's what this variety is. Um, it's a really popular variety. And um, it's just a sweet cherry tomato. It's really nice with a little bit of salt, some of the basil. So, yeah. But it's a really nice producer. It grows in um, like bunches of seven or eight. And we've um, already probably found like 20 of them. So that's a really nice producer. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for four hours of life, you know, I'm doing pretty good over here. Um, Ocean City is pretty warm, it's pretty, it gets pretty humid. Yeah, so there's so lots of life. Basically, a lot you can grow just in your apartment on your deck. And, and with no sun. You know, just one or two recommendations I'm sure Dom's considering is just putting things in larger pots as yeah. they get older, maybe feeding them a little bit more if they don't have enough sunlight like Dom has. And you can get a lot more, probably pretty decent production out of what Dom has over here. So, yeah. This my wife is a good sport. She lets me take over the whole deck. <laughs> so, you know. Good. We walked up the steps here, or the third floor, and we, I came up the third steps, and I'm like, oh, start seeing green, must be Dom's place. It makes sense. So, anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully Dom has inspired you to grow your own food at home, even if you live in an apartment. You can still do it. I mean, it's, you can learn, you'll be all right. You get, you get your basil, you get your tomatoes, and you're set. All right. Thanks Take for care, having me. guys.